Hi, in this tutorial we're going to go over surfacing in SOLIDWORKS. So I'm going to come up here and click on New. New. You can either hit uh, Control N on the keyboard or come up here and click the uh, white sheet. And I'm going to start a new part. Okay, so surfacing in SOLIDWORKS is about creating um, a zero thickness plane that can cut solids or that can be stitched together into a bunch of different uh, surfaces that can be created into a solid later. So we're going to go over uh, some of the really basic surfaces and you could find the surfaces up here on the tabs. You have features, sketch, and then surfaces. So I'm going to create a sketch on the top plane and like we have many times before, I'm going to come up here and create a center rectangle. So I'm going to drag this out and make it um, one inch by one inch. And you can actually hit tab. I'm going to show you a little shortcut here. Once you type in a dimension, you can hit tab and then type in the other dimension. And then you can hit enter. Just going to go ahead and change the uh, documents here. Okay, so from here I'm going to um, use this 2D sketch to create um, what I've mentioned to be a surface. So I'm going to come up here and there are a few options that are selected. We have extruded surface, revolved surface, lofted surface, boundary surface, filled surface, and planar surface. Those are the ones that are selectable right now. So right now I have a 2D closed shape. So it's 2D and it's closed. If it's a 2D shape that's closed, I can come up here and make a planar surface. So I'm going to click on it and it's asking me for bounding entities. So I'm going to click on these entities. And as you can see, it has been filled in with the yellow in the preview window. So I can hit OK. And now I have my flat surface. And we're going to see how this is useful or what this can actually be used for in later lessons. But for now, I just want to show the basics. Um, surfacing is can become very complicated. It's, it's one of the more complicated things you can really do um, in SOLIDWORKS outside of simulation and, and all those sorts of things. So we've created our surface. Um, and so uh, th this is a really simple example. Uh, what I want to do next is I want to show uh, what I want to consider the second simplest type of surface and that's an extruded surface. So I'm going to come up here to the front plane this time and I'm going to create a sketch here and I'm going to create a line. That line is going to come across and from here I'm going to exit the sketch, go to surfaces and I just want to point out that this line is, is uh, parallel with the first surface. So if I come up here to extruded surface you can see it's actually the same, it's coming in the same direction as my first surface. So uh, let me show you what that looks like. You can actually see that these two surfaces are parallel to each other. So there are two different ways to create the same thing. You can create a flat surface using the surface plane or you can create a flat surface using the surface extrude except with the surface plane it creates it right between your 2D sketch and when you do the surface extrude, it's extruding and going across from that extrusion. So here I started it on the front plane and I did my surface extrusion and it came across perpendicular to the plane I made it on. When you cr 
create it as I mentioned on the as a planar surface it's going to create it right on the surface that you're sketching on so with that being said um, I think this is a really simple example I can actually take it a step further and I can make my first sketch the same size as the first one so I can I can look at it from the top I can just set a smart dimension here to be one inch the way we did it on the first one and with that in place you can see that these are now two exact squares that are just on different planes same size but different methods of being made okay great so I'm just gonna come up here and it's always important to save your part once you start putting the work into it um, you know SolidWorks can have problems it can crash things like that so um, I want to go over um, one more or at least one more um, feature here so the next one that I would want to cover is the revolved surface so I can create a revolved surface the same way that I would create a revolved um, boss base so it's going to be the same method except it's going to be a surf it's going to come out as a surface as a zero thickness surface instead of a solid so I can come up to my revolved uh, surface but first I need to create the sketch so I'm gonna go back to the sketch tab start a sketch um, I'm just gonna kinda of place a rectangle here I'm not even gonna dimension it and I'm going to create a line I'm gonna click on this line make it for construction and if I come back to surfaces I can do a revolve surface I can select the axis of revolution and the selected contours are automatically selected and as you can see my surface revolve is if I do a cross section you can see it's actually hollow and what I did just now is I came up here see this little section preview you can click on that and if you click on it SolidWorks will automatically cut your part or assembly to show you the inside of it so I'm gonna come up here and hit the check mark and you can actually look inside and see that this is hollow so th this is really just um, an intro and a preview uh, we're gonna be diving into this at least a little bit more deeply uh, in the next lessons but as I mentioned before uh, surfacing can become very complicated uh, surfacing is what you use when you need to get really complex shapes it's something that always needs to be um, solidified so I can create surfaces all day in the software to create my part but at the end of the day I need to be able to take all those surfaces and come and create a one fully closed uh, I want to call it airtight um, 3d uh, 3d shape and only when all the um, all of the shape is fully closed is it going to allow me to create a solid and once you create a solid then then you've accomplished uh, the mission of using surfaces so like I mentioned we're going to cover that more deeply but hopefully uh, this is a good primer to get people kind of interested and um, to show off the um, possibilities here.